What's going on everyone? Tom with TR Reptiles here. As you can see, we're in my snake room. It's not quite finished yet, but it'll do for now. Um, sorry I haven't been on YouTube for a while. been extremely busy, lacking on the videos, but I'm back for my very first video of 2019. We're going to be talking about my very first breeding season and all the updates that I have for you. Let's get into it. Check it out. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. I just been living okay, so on here's the first girl. We have here a fire yellow belly hep pie. And she was bred to my pied male. So this is really um my main chance of pieds this season. So I got her as a hatchling from Justin Kabelka. I raised her up. I uh, don't have an exact weight on her, but she ovulated on 5'5", five five, so just waiting for her to go into her pre-lay shed. She is gorgeous. Very excited about her. I'm very excited, very excited about everyone, because I am. But uh, yeah, this is her. Hope to be wrapped around a nice clutch soon enough. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright, here is the next girl. This is my spot nose heck clown female. She was bred to my Lesser Clown and my Blade Clown. Um, obviously hoping that the Lesser Clown got her. Um, she's really my main chance of getting uh, clowns this year. Uh, my other two that I have are uh, Posset Clowns, which you'll see later on in the video. Um, so she's really my main chance. So hoping for a spot nose clown or even better, a lesser spot nose clown. We'll see. Uh, all time will tell. Well, then let's move on all to right. the next girl. Here is my next girl. This is my spot nose yellow belly, 50% head clown. So this is what I was talking about in the last part that um, I have a chance of proving her out, but it's not a guarantee whatsoever that I'll get some clowns out of her. Um, if not, got some cool hats. She was bred to both the Lesser Clown and the Blade Clown. Um, so once again, hoping that that Lesser Clown got her, but we shall see. If the Blade got her too, I won't really be disappointed either way. Uh, she ovulated back on 5-5, five five, so uh, just waiting on her to go in the pre-lay shed. And, uh, you know, uh, I think I'm I'm really excited about her because I just I have a feeling she'll prove out. But uh, time will tell. We shall see. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, girl. here we have my big double head dream circle girl. Also got her from Justin. Uh, she's probably the biggest girl that I raised up. Um, she was bred to my pied male. Um, I did not think my double head dream circle male was going to be ready. And um, of course, later come to find out that he was, um, but the pied had already got her. So she just recently went into her pre-ovulation shed. So uh, just going to be waiting to see her ovulate. But she is just enormous. Um, not really upset too much about it. I mean, definitely lower my chances of dreamsicles. But um, I'd be fine with some pied females and um, that are 50% het lavender. And we'll just see what she gives me and just go from there. But yeah, that's this girl. She's my most curious one of all. And... Uh, We'll move on to the next one. All right, here's the next girl. This is my other double head dream circle girl. Uh, she's still actively breeding. Uh, she's locked twice with the double head dream circle male. So hoping, hoping that she goes and hoping that I get a dream circle. Odds are very much stacked against me, but we shall see. I got a lot of odds stacked against me this year and I'm rolling the dice. So we shall see. Uh, what happens with her? She's still breeding, so I think she'll probably be uh, a very late clutch. But this is her here. She's kind of got a little bit of a glow going on with her. She's also been um, still eating, too. So I know she's probably got still a little bit of time. But this is her. And let's move on to the next one. All right, next girl here. This is my Pastel Enchi. I got her as an adult from Double D Pythons. 
and uh, she was my very first girl to ovulate. She ovulated back on 429. So just waiting for her to go into her prelay shed. She'll be my first clutch of the year. Very excited. You see how thick and just plump she is. And uh, she was bred exclusively to the lesser clown. So uh, hoping for some really nice hets to hold back. And uh, some will be up for sale too, depending on what I get. But this is her nice big thick girl. And she will be the first clutch of 2019 for TR Reptiles. First clutch ever. So very excited about that. And uh, hopefully that will actually happen. She'll go into prelay shed in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. All right, move on to the next girl. All right, the next lady is a nice big girl. This is my Firefly that I got as an adult, also from Double D Pythons. And she's actually going into her pre-ovulation shed. So uh, she's done. She was spread exclusively to the Blade Clown. Hoping for some nice pets from her as well. And I will hold back some and put some up for sale. So we shall see what she gives me. Uh, really love Fire Clown, so that's kind of one of the reasoning behind doing that, making just some of my own hats. But yeah, big girl. Hope to see her wrapped around a nice big clutch. And uh, we'll move on to the next girl. All right, this girl right here, probably going to be the most anticipated clutch of my season. This is my Orange Dream Leopard. Het Pied, 50% Het Clown, and I'm trying to prove her out first year. Um, love her, just as she is here. But if she could be double Het, that would be amazing. I love some Clown Pied stuff, especially some Leopard Clown Pieds. She already ovulated for me back on 5-2. Just look at that. She is just gorgeous. So hoping, hoping she proves out just like the... Uh, Spot nose yellow belly clown, and we get some nice OD leopard clowns, 50% hep hide. And uh, I think I'll have a lot of whole packs from that clutch. So we shall see what she gives us. Here she is. And uh, let's move on to the next girl. All right. We've got this girl here playing in her water, making a mess. This is one of my 50% hep puzzle girls. Um, I had got a trio of them. Well, a uh, uh, 1.2 50 percent have puzzles she kind of got up the size a little late she's just at 1500 grams and uh she's still eating so she's still getting up there uh she's got one lock with my pastel hep puzzle mail so we shall see what happens with her if she proves out or if she even goes she's a little bit of a feisty girl at times too i like that but this is her so another another girl that uh trying to prove out here <laughs> once again so we'll see what she does she's still breeding and i will keep everyone updated of her so let's move on to the next girl all right this is the last girl so we have 10 total girls this year that we're hoping go and that we bred this is my other 50 percent head puzzle she ovulated back on five three i think it is and she's got a nice little glow about her. She obviously was bred to the pastel head puzzle. Very excited about her because out of the two and the other girl I just showed you, I really feel that she will prove out. Um, hoping and praying for some puzzles. I really, really love that project. If they don't prove out, I don't get them this year. It's just going to have to be a must-buy snake this year because uh, I'm, I'm just really, really want to get deep in the puzzle. I think it's a really great project. And there's a lot of things that I want to do with it. So this is her. Wish me luck on her and all the other ones. And uh, this has been the breeding update for 2019 season. So here they are. Prove out. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching that video. Just wanted to give you a little glimpse into uh, the breeding of TR Reptiles this year. It's my first breeding season. I am absolutely ecstatic to be at this point. I had a lot of doubts in the beginning of the season, but these girls have proved me wrong. And through everyone's love and support, I was able to really buckle down and just get things done. Um, I have 10 girls that I'm breeding here. Two are still breeding, two I'm waiting on ovulation, the rest are just waiting on prelay shed. 
So I, I am just ecstatic to be at this point. Um, I'm ready. As you can see, I got my hatching racks in the back ready to go. Cannot wait to be able to fill them up. And uh, I plan on bringing a lot of content to YouTube as far as breeding goes, any clutches that I have laid, um, up cutting clutches, updating on, on the babies and stuff like that, um, what's for sale, what I'm holding back, everything. So I really hope you guys will keep it here and continue on this journey with me. Really do appreciate you guys. Check you guys out on the next video. Dream, baby.